we have that flag, and that flag is significant not only because we brought it up on this flight, but because it also flew on STS-1. This flag also will be flown prominently here by the forward hatch of No. 2 to be returned to Earth once again by an astronaut that launches on a U.S. vehicle. Hopefully in just... But behind us, uh, going through ha that hatch right there, right now, that's the hatch that leads to Atlantis. And 35 space shuttles have docked to, to that uh, remaining adapter that's uh, attached just beyond that, uh, that hatch right there. And you know, during the course of the, of, the, uh, of the International Space Station construction, all those space shuttles that, that docked there left the legacy of this incredible orbiting research facility that not only uh, is you know, going to be a stepping stone uh, to the rest of the uh, exploration of the rest of the solar system, it's also really improving life on our planet, and so we thought it was a very fitting place uh, to put that. And as we uh, put this flag on the hatch that leads to Atlantis right now, and when we close that hatch, when these guys go by, we're closing a chapter in the history of our nation. But uh, in the future, when another spacecraft docks to that, uh, that hatch and with, uh, with crew members on board, and we open that hatch, we are going to be opening a new era and raising the flag on a new era of uh, exploration beyond low Earth orbit. So it's a great honor to do that, and it's a great place for us to put it. Thanks, Ron. And uh, when this uh, flag returns again someday to Earth by an astronaut that came up on an American spitcraft, its journey will not end there. Uh, its journey will continue. It will also, uh, on the heavy lift vehicle that the United States is currently working on, it will leave low Earth orbit once again, perhaps to a lunar destination, perhaps to Mars. Physical separation, Houston. Undocking confirmed. At 1.28 a.m. Central Time, Atlantis weighs anchor from the International Space Station for the last time. Twelve and a half years of shuttle missions to build and service a million pound complex at an end. Rendezvous officer reports a good opening rate for Atlantis. This is sequential still video. Atlantis, station is in attitude control. Atlantis copies, thanks. Atlantis now 30 feet away from the docking interface with the International Space Station. Everything looking good. It will take about uh, 30 minutes or so for Atlantis to reach uh, its station keeping point, 600 feet directly in front. Atlantis departing the International Space Station for the last time. Thank you for your 12 dock missions to the ISS and for capping off 37 space shuttle missions to construct this incredible orbiting research facility. We'll miss you guys. Godspeed, soft landing, and we'll see you back on Earth in the fall. Hey, thanks, uh, Ron, USOS lead, and uh, to the uh, station commander, Andre Borisenko. Uh, we appreciate your hospitality again. Hey, what a great, uh, what a generation can accomplish is a great thing. It's got a right to stand back and for just a moment admire and take pride in its work. From our unique vantage point right here, first above the Earth, we can see the International Space Station is a wonderful accomplishment. Born at the end of the Cold War, it's enabled many nations to speak one in space. 
but the ISS now enters the era of utilization and will never forget the role the space shuttle played in its creation. Like a proud parent, we anticipate great things to follow from the men and women who build, operate, and live there. From this unique vantage point, we can see a great thing has been accomplished. Farewell, ISS. Make us proud.